रिनेबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी और नॉन रिनेबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी के एग्जांपल्स भी हैं यहां पे देखिए बेटा नॉन रिनेबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एग्जांपल हैं उसके फॉसिल फ्यूल्स कोल पेट्रोलियम नेचुरल गैस ओके और रिनेबल सोर्सेस के कौन-कौन से हैं सन वाटर बायोगैस थर्मल विंड सोलर एनर्जी ये सारे ठीक है यस ओके Have you ever been out camping? Have you made a campfire at night and enjoyed its warmth? Why do we feel warm beside a campfire? Thermal energy is used for generating electricity. These power stations are called thermal power plants. Thermal energy is used to convert water into steam. The steam is further heated so that it can be maintained at high pressure. This pressurized steam is passed over the steam turbine. This rotates the turbines much as it makes the wheels of a rail engine move. The rotating turbine is connected to the generator. The generator consists of a coil which is rotated by the turbine. The coil is connected to transmission lines. When it rotates in a magnetic field, a current is generated in the coil. The electricity generated in the coils is then passed to high power transmission lines. The transmission lines distribute the electricity.
The turbines at a thermal power plant operate exclusively on steam. Where does the thermal energy to convert water to steam come from? A thermal power plant uses thermal energy mainly from three sources. Coal, geothermal energy and nuclear energy. Most thermal power plants are powered by coal. Coal is burnt at the power plant to convert water to steam. A large quantity of coal needs to be burnt in order to produce the required thermal energy. It is difficult to transport coal over long distances. However, it is much more affordable to transport electricity over the same distances. Hence, most coal-powered thermal power plants are located near coal mines. Coal is a non-renewable and polluting source of thermal energy. Let us now consider geothermal energy. In contrast to coal, a geothermal source of thermal energy is renewable and non-polluting. The naturally available steam is utilized at the power plant to rotate the steam turbines. Geothermal energy is thermal energy from the Earth. The Earth's core is very hot. When it rains, some water is collected over the underlying rocks. In certain regions on Earth, the hot, molten part of the core is close to the surface. It heats these rocks, which in turn heat the water over them. That is how geysers and natural springs form. In some areas, water is pumped down to hot rocks of this sort to produce steam. This steam rises up under a high pressure in pipes. It is passed over the turbines at the power plant to produce electricity. Nuclear reactors perform controlled nuclear reactions to extract nuclear energy. A single nuclear reaction gives out huge amounts of energy in the form of heat. Thermal power plants utilize this energy from nuclear reactors to convert water into steam. Did you know in Spain they have a thermal power plant where water is converted to steam by solar energy? Hundreds of mirrors reflect light to a tower. The tower is fitted with a steam turbine and a generator.
ओके बेटा जो न्यूक्लियस से अभी मैंने एक बताया था यूरेनियम वगैरह उनसे जो एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है उससे जब उसको बम्बार्ड किया जाता है न्यूट्रॉन के साथ तो वो क्या हो जाता है टूट के छोटे छोटे टुकड़ों में डिवाइड हो जाता है न्यूक्लियस और वो डिवाइड हो जाएगा जो आपका मैंने बोला था यूरेनियम वगैरह वो टूट के डिवाइड हो जाएगा उसके बाद उसमें से बहुत ज़्यादा हीट निकलती है उस हीट से ही अभी अब देखा आपने कैसे टर्बलाइन मूव करता है फिर उस हीट को उस जगह अपना स्टोर करा जाता है उस हीट से फिर क्या करते हैं स्टीम से सॉरी स्टीम से स्टीम से क्या करेंगे जनरेट करेंगे टर्बाइन और उससे फिर हीट प्रोड्यूस करते हैं मैम वो देखा था वो जमीन के नीचे से कुछ निकल रहा था वो कल वो हीट निकल रही थी बेटा हीट मतलब हीट भी नहीं स्टीम स्टीम निकल रही थी जमीन के नीचे से वो स्टीम से फिर वो टर्बाइन को मूव कराते हैं ठीक है The Hoover Dam in the United States of America is one of the best known dams in the world. World me, dam me. Dams are among the largest man-made creations on earth. Do you know why dams are built? Dams are built for irrigation, water transportation, flood control, and the generation of electricity. Water can be used to generate electricity. In this simple experiment, water is made to fall on the veins of a miniature turbine. The rotating shaft of the veins is connected to the dynamo. The deflection in the voltmeter confirms that electricity is generated. Electricity generated in this way, that is, by using water, is called hydroelectricity or hydropower. Now, water can be used to generate electricity, yes. But this does not mean a stream or a pond in your garden will do. For the large-scale production of electricity, fast-moving water is required. Can you think why the speed of the water is so important in the production of electricity? In the generation of electricity from water, the kinetic energy of water is converted to electrical energy. More kinetic energy means that the veins will turn faster. This in turn will generate more electricity. और जब ये कैनेटिक एनर्जी है तो इससे क्या होएगा कैनेटिक एनर्जी क्या करती है 
जो टरबाइन लगाई जाती है वो रोटेट करना शुरू कर देती है और फिर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस होती है ठीक है So, for the generation of electricity from water, we need fast-moving water. What are the good sources of fast-moving water? Fast-flowing rivers are a good source of hydropower. They have a lot of kinetic energy. Hydropower has been in use for many years now. Did you know that in olden times, this form of power was used to grind grains at mills. A waterfall also consists of fast moving water. However, there are very few waterfalls around the world which are good enough for the generation of electricity. Technical difficulties, financial feasibility, etc. have to be taken into consideration. Viable waterfalls and fast rivers are hard to find. To address this, dams have been constructed across many rivers. Dams collect water and then cause it to fall from a height onto turbines located below. Falling water has kinetic energy. This is converted into electricity. A hydropower plant is a place where electricity is generated from water. Dams are built across rivers and hydropower plants are set up inside them. Let us see how a hydropower plant works. The sluice gates control the flow of water at the top of the dam. The water flows from the penstock or sluice gate towards the turbines at the foot of the dam. The water falls on the turbines and makes them turn. The rotating shaft of the turbines is connected to the generator. In the generator, the coil rotates in a magnetic field to generate electricity. Depending on whether the generator has a slip ring setup or a slit ring setup, an AC or DC current is generated. The electricity is then transported using the high power transmission lines. Hydropower, as you may have noticed, is a very efficient source of power. Some turbines have achieved an efficiency of over 95%. This is rare in the case of other sources of energy. Although hydropower is so efficient, the construction of dams is faced with sensitive ecological issues. Owing to the construction of dams, the ecosystems along the river downstream of the dam are affected. Fish find it difficult to traverse the river in shallow waters. Their supply of nutrients is also reduced. Owing to the trapping of water by the dam, the silt and minerals scattered by the river do not pass this point. Farming becomes impossible further down the banks of these rivers. However, unlike most sources of energy, hydropower does not pollute the environment at all. It is also an inexhaustible source of energy. The dam stores water, which is also used for irrigation. This is an additional gain from the dam. The dam area can also be used for recreation and tourism, as well as fish farming. In case of heavy rainfall, the dams act as a barrier to flood waters. This protects the people living in the river valley. We cannot discard hydropower as a source of energy, as it has many advantages, as well as its associated problems. However, at the same time, 
we should develop technology and methodologies to minimize its damaging effects on ecology. For example, fish nets are employed at dams to assist migratory fish. At the bottom, currents are created to draw the fish towards the lift. Then, they are lifted to be released at the top into the dam water. You are a respected dam construction engineer. You have built dams all over the world. In this challenge, you need to make wise decisions and build a magnificent dam which produces a lot of electricity. All the best. Which energy associated with water is converted to electricity? Should be to reduce the damage to the ecology of the river. 